This is one of the most engaging drone camera fly through text animations and you can see it almost everywhere like on Instagram or YouTube. Let's see how we can create this text animation using the 3D camera tracker in After Effects. To create this text animations, we are gonna use this FTV drone footage. You'll find the footage link in the description below. This footage is somewhat complex for 3D camera tracking because it's a fast moving and has motion blur. However, I hope After Effects can do a great job tracking it. First of all, we need to apply the 3D camera tracking effect. To do this, go to the effects and presets tab, search for the 3D camera tracker and apply the effect to the video on the timeline. Instantly, you see the After Effects starts analyzing the footage in the background. Within a few seconds, the analyzing and camera solving process will be completed, depending on the video duration and your system's configuration. After that, you'll see a lot of tracking points on the video. Let's move the time indicator along with the timeline to check if there are any areas without tracking points. The 3D tracking points will appear almost everywhere in the video, especially in high contrast areas. If you want to make them easier to see, increase the track point size value to make the tracking points bigger. The red circles are called targets. The target size settings allows you to increase or decrease the target size by adjusting the value. Let's go back to the first frame of the video. By the way, there is another option in the 3D camera tracker effect called render track points. If you enable this option, all the tracking points will be visible in your final rendered video. I think this is only useful for tutorial videos and in most cases, we turn off this option. Now let's move to the advanced settings for camera tracking, the first of these settings in the solve method, which helps After Effects understand the type of scene you are working with. Click on the drop down menu to find its options, auto detect typical most flat scene and tripod pan. Auto detect automatically analyzes the footage and determines the best approach for solving the camera based on the scene, which is selected by default and I prefer to keep this setting. If you want to improve the accuracy of the camera tracking, you can select one of the options based on your footage. You can see the details about on each option on the right side of the screen. Since auto detect was selected after effects use typical method for this fast moving drone footage, this can be useful in understanding how the software interpreted your footage and the resulting camera motion. Next we have the average error result which is 1.33 pixels. For this kind of complex fast moving footage, this result is not bad. A lower average error is always better as it indicates the higher tracking accuracy. If the average error is too high, you may need to refine your tracking points or adjust your tracking settings. If the tracking points are not visible, simply select the 3D camera tracker effect to active them. Our next advanced setting is detailed analysis. When this option is checked, After Effects takes extra time to identify and track more elements within the scene, resulting in a better tracking accuracy. Now you see many more tracking points than before. Since we had previously increased their size, they are now appear too large, so let's decrease the track point size. You can then move the time indicator to observe how the tracking points interact with the entire drone footage. You might notice that the average error has slightly improved, now at 1.32 pixels. Now let's get into the main part of this tutorial, adding the text to the video. First go to the beginning of the video, then hover the mouse pointer or cursor over the tracking points to see the target point with different orientations. This gives you a general idea of how the text or flat surface is oriented in 3D space. There are a lot of topics to discuss like align to ground and make origin, which I'll cover in a dedicated tutorial. For now, if you want a basic understanding, you can watch this video linked in the description. You can either click on a single tracking point or click and drag to select multiple tracking points. These points help to create a flat surface where the text will be attached. Let's choose a target point. It doesn't need to be perfect since you can always adjust the orientation later using the X, Y and Z axis. Once you have confirmed the target point, right click and select the text and camera. Instantly you see two new layers on the timeline, the 3D camera and text layers. Now select the text layer and hit the S key to bring up the scale property, allowing you to adjust the text size, either increasing or decreasing it. Next press the R key to expand the rotation settings, adjust the X rotation to tilt the text up or down and the Y rotation to pan the text left or right. After that you may need to adjust the Z rotation which rotates the text around the axis point into or out of the screen. Now to call up the text layer hit the R key again. If you want to, you can adjust the text transform settings from the text properties tab. If this tab is missing, go to the window menu and enable it. In the settings panel, you can modify properties like scale, position, orientation, rotation and more. Another option for adjusting the text and on, I prefer because it makes rotating easier, is to use the red, green and blue rotation circles. Grab the red circle X rotations to tilt the text up or down in 3D space. 
then use the green circle y rotation to pan the text left or right by rotating around the vertical axis the blue circle jet rotation allows you to tilt the camera clockwise if you need to change the text position simply move it around centering the anchor point can help you adjusting the rotations to do this make sure the text layer is selected then hold down the control key and double click on the anchor point tool to center the anchor point of the selected layer now switch back to the selection tool after centering the anchor point you can adjust the rotations again and it may be a little bit easier for you to rotate the text you can also reposition the text if needed now double click on the text to enable typing mode and you can type whatever you like in this case i'm gonna type adventure then select the text to make adjustments such as changing the font font style fill color and text size after making these changes switch back to the selection tool and reposition the text if necessary let's play back the video to see camera fly through text animation it looks good but we can make some adjustments to improve it you can reposition the text to fit your scene better. If you need to change the size, first grab the corner pin of the selected text, hold down the shift key and grab to increase or decrease the scale of the text. Following these steps, you can easily adjust the text to your liking. You may notice that there is no motion blur on the adventure text, which makes it look unrealistic. To add motion blur, click on the motion blur icon for the text layer. Then move the time indicator to see the changes. It works well for this kind of 2D text. Now let's give this text a 3D look. To do this, expand the text layer by clicking on the arrow icon. You'll notice the geometry options are inactive because the composition is currently set to classic 3D. To active them, change the composition settings from classic 3D to cinema 4D. You then see the geometry options become active. By the way, an alternative or the main way to change the composition setting is by going to the composition in the top menu bar, then selecting the composition settings. Next, click on the 3D renderer tab, select Cinema 4D from the drop down menu and hit OK to confirm the update. Now go back to the geometry option and increase the extrusion depth value to convert the flat 2D layer into a 3D object by giving it depth. For example, I'll set value to around 9. This gives this text a 3D look but it still appears flat because we have not applied any light sources to the 3D text layer yet. To fix this, first call up the text layer, then right click on the blank area in the timeline, go to new and select light. The light settings dialog box will appear, you can choose a light type such as point and make sure to enable the cast shadows option. Finally click ok to confirm the settings. Now you can see the new look of the 3D text, you can make some minor adjustments to improve it further. First drag the point light layer upward in the timeline then expand it. Go to the light options and change light type from point to parallel. You immediately see the changes in the appearance of the text. Next, zoom out of the composition monitor by scrolling the mouse wheel to locate the light source circles. Hover the cursor over them to find the XYZ handles. Then grab and drag them to adjust the position of the light and its point of interest. Zoom back into composition to easily see the three state lines, red, green and blue, that represents the X, Y and Z axis. These lines have small cube icons, click and drag each icon one by one to adjust the reflections. Once you have made the changes, play back the video to see how the text animation looks. Great, it looks really good. Now in this step, we will add another text to the drone footage. First, find the frame where you wanna add the new text by moving the time indicator. If any layers are expanded, call up them. You might not see the tracking points at the moment, but to make them visible again, select the video layer, go to effect controls panel, and click on the 3D camera tracker. Next, hover the mouse pointer to choose a target point, then right click and select new text. Highlight the new text layer on the timeline then adjust its rotation position and its scale in the composition to fit the scene. Once the primary adjustments are done, double click on the text to enable typing mode and change the text, for example discover following the fast text adventure. After confirming the new text, make sure the selection tool is active. If necessary, adjust the position of the text again. Now move the time indicator to see where the further adjustments might be needed to improve the text animation. I'll skip the detailed steps since we are already familiar with the adjustments process. When you are satisfied with the adjustments, it's time to give the text a 3D look. To do this, expand the discover text layer on the timeline, go to geometry options and increase the extrusion depth value to convert the text into 3D. A value of around 14 should work well for this text. And that's it, we have almost completed today's drone camera fly through text animation. To make it more creative, you can experiment with adjusting the text position or check out this tutorial for more details. You can continue animating more text until your computer can't handle it anymore. Thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.